What is one thing about your show that is better than Game of Thrones? I think we're huge admirers of Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones crossed over, broke through from fantasy and genre um, audiences into the whole world talking about it. Yeah, like if anything, they've opened doors for, for us. I think um, the world building and the Wheel of Time is incredible and vast and huge, which uh, you know, I think we can definitely rival and the characters are fantastic. And uh, we do have a more exciting um, and a more dynamically cast series, I think, in terms of the diversity of our cast, which is people from literally all corners of the world. Our casting director has searched the whole globe for these characters and that shows on screen. Getting to play a character that I think maybe an, an Asian actor wouldn't have got a chance to play in the past. And I, I think it's uh, just been a, a really great experience for me. You know, you expect to see different kinds of people who look completely different and sound different. And I think having a international global cast with actors from all over is quite cool. And I think for fantasy, if you've got magic and creatures, then I think you should also have, you know, a, a plethora of different kinds of people in it as well. We explore uh, gender, race, sexuality, and I think that's something that is universal and audiences are really going to um, relate to and will be interested in. If you had to pick a Game of Thrones character to come into Wheel of Time, who you could either fight with or fight against, who would it be? <sighs> There's a blacksmith and I think Joe Dempsey's from the Midlands as well. He played like Gendry or something. And I think I read somewhere that that would be quite a good battle, out of battle of the blacksmith. So I think that would be pretty, pretty epic if we could have like a, a blacksmith duel. I would just pick a dragon. A dragon just comes in and I try, takes oh, yeah, out. Yeah, a dragon's quite cool as well. <laughs> Was there a sci-fi show or movie that you loved prior to this? Is there any series that you were like, oh, this is why I'm attracted to this genre? I know it's fantasy what we're doing, but it feels like the most realistic I've, I've ever done before. And, and that's what draws me to the wheel of time, that, it, that these um, relationships and these characters, they feel human and, and real. And um, I can't really compare that to any other fantasy show because uh, I haven't seen many actually. You know, I'm aware of Harry Potter. Is there a Harry Potter character that you'd pick to, to come into the wheel of time? To fight with? Yeah. I think. Like, in, and what kind of fight would it be? An easy fight or like an, a challenging fight? You know, it's got to be Voldemort, actually. Well, well, that would be a fun fight, you know. The idea of that sort of, that male superiority being flipped and that, that women having the power or they can only access it, or if men do, it, it becomes very, very dangerous or that it has something that changes within them is, is, is very interesting. I mean, we would have the most fun together. We would have the most fun. I don't know how productive we would be. Oh, we'd be all right. I think if push came to shove, we would be okay. Who's the most pragmatic? Probably uh, Yosha. Yosha. A hundred percent. Yosha would just like get the job done <clears throat> at all costs. Yep. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, man, I yeah, think we've, yeah. both, we've both got good qualities. I mean, Perrin's a bit of a gentle giant, so he's not going to be like, but I feel like if once he flips, there's a, an aggressive kind explosive, of like, explosive side, it's destruction. And then you're just good with a bow and a sword. Everyone would want Daniel. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I would. I don't trust myself. Who would you pair uh, up I would want you. <laughs> I think the great thing about your show is it harnesses the power of women. When did you feel like you had power in your career? Well, I felt power in my life when I became a mother, I think. I was just respectful of the power within me to, to deliver a human being into the world. That was a you know, probably the most sort of proudest moment of my life and career probably altogether. You know, it's the, it's the kind of, I think we've talked to, we've done all those, which yeah. we, we have all kinds of chats or, yeah. or in the wings, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know. I think I do have the balls now. I mean, I, I sort of hate to use that word because I don't know why women have to co-opt a kind of male, part of male anatomy. I don't know if that's even the balls that we talk about when I we know. talk about having balls, but <laughs> I've always assumed it was and I've always sort of slightly resented it while at the same time using it. But I now have the balls, whatever the kind of balls they are. <laughs> to you say. can come up with a new term <laughs> to say what I want and what I believe in and to fight for what I um what, what I believe whether it's creative or in terms of scripts or in terms of you know yeah. all, all that kind of stuff and, and she, she has no problem saying no which is something <sighs> I really admire about her she does things the way she wants to do them and it's, it's really beautiful I want to hear all about the new word you come up with for balls <laughs> because we all need it <laughs>
we'll come back next time we'll come up with it